Hey guys, Lelaine Art Geek here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am just now starting my WasabiCon vlog, even though WasabiCon actually started yesterday, Friday the 13th, which is actually really cool. Today is Saturday the 14th of October. I started vlogging now just because I wanted to enjoy my convention yesterday. I was actually a little bit stressed, not gonna lie. It was also super hot in the convention for some reason. I just wanted to relax and kind of feel out the first day yesterday, which actually went really well. Um, I got table back and a little bit of profit. So literally the entire weekend will just be nothing but profit now. And I'm really happy about that. I've been needing that for a while again. But yeah, I just wanted to take a break, just like a little break from vlogging at a con. And I'm gonna get back into it now. I am gonna get coffee really quick and then head over to the convention. Film a little bit for you guys. Everyone is set up obviously because the convention started yesterday so everyone is set up and ready to go and I can't wait to show you guys. Fun fact about Wasabi Con too is that it's the inaugural con for me so basically my first Artist Alley booth was at Wasabi Con. I'm really happy to be back. I hope you guys enjoy the vlog. I'm gonna go ahead and get coffee and head over there so I'll see y'all there. <laughs> so we are now here at the booth and I have a lot of things to say about it because a lot has changed. So let me just say, new banner, isn't it beautiful? I had to get this fast shipping because I wanted it specifically for this convention because it's my inaugural con, which means I started tabling at this con. So I wanted a new banner and I have some spooky decor. Nelson's in the back. Spooky decor with some pumpkins. I also have candy so anyone can take some. And then I actually decided to literally go on the edge of the table to display my bigger prints and honestly, and I uh, cut down just to one row of grids instead of two. Honestly, I actually really like it. It feels more full this way. This display, it's more roomy, more inviting, and I like it. And I also have a balloon friend. Ain't he cute? Oh, I also have um, like flowers here specifically for Halloween. So there are eyeballs and everything too. So this is the table. She's spooky and she's cute. We have Nelson here. He will be the uh, assistant. I was ba basically explaining that I got table back because I'm actually, we're right next to the doors. Um, I thought they were blocked out or blocked off because they're, they, they're listed as blocked off, but they're, a, they're another pair of doors that let other um, attendees in. And usually they'll go, they'll go down this row um, that's like against the wall and I just get good seals that way. We also have another balloon, so we They're do brothers. only close. There's a, a long boy. There's a long boy and there's and a, a short, boy. short boy. Let's continue on with day two. Let's get it going. What do you think oh, of my yeah. banner? Look oh, at the banner. It's so good. It's phenomenal. You, you yes. Done it again. I did it again. I, I was zoning out the in the game. space. No one judge me in the comments. <laughs> no one's going to judge you I'm in the comments. For, I'm here for a non-brand specific gold bear. <laughs> Covering it up. Pull out a sponsor. Dollar Bro Studio. Go follow them. Studio. You already know. Stop studio. it. Stop it. Don't do this to me. I, I got a cat. You got a cat? You got a cat? cat you want to get a pumpkin too? Pumpkin! Pumpkin! I got pumpkins on oh, my Oh, it's pumpkin. decoration! Come on! Bro, pumpkin? I never met him. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> People are now coming in! Sales time, baby! Sales time, baby! Super nice customer gave me some friendship bracelets and it's Luffy. It might be backwards, but I'm not entirely sure. It's Luffy hey, and Zoro. I love the Luffy one. They're, the colors are so cute. They have like little stars. The energy at this Wasabi Con this time around, it's just been so good. It's been busy since the moment it opened. I needed this convention. I almost cried because I was literally having just another string of like not that good cons and it's, this is a lot more rewarding. I will never stop saying thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I cannot believe it took me this long to show off the badge. 
So here it is. Show off yours, Nelson. Actually, so it's a little easier. So Look this at is that. the artist badge. Isn't she pretty? And then turn around. And it has the schedule on it, which is so convenient. And two QR codes. I forgot what they go to, but it says artist. And the, the attendees um, have the same like format. It says attendee on the side, but it, it's a different kind of art. But look how slick it is. Look at him go. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Thank you. I'll take this. Oh. All right. Sakura Miku sticker for you. And then your change. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. You, nice you as well. I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of him. I got a silly guy. It's holographic. This is awesome. The goofiest man. Finally, an update because we have been busy pretty non-stop the entire day. So kind of like as a clarification, last year I was in like a pretty not that good spot last year. It was like kind of more back there where it was not near the doors at all. So I made a little bit, I don't even remember, like less than 1K that year, but I just hit 1100 today and it's only Saturday. We still have tomorrow and I'm okay with that. It is 611 and it closes at seven. But I just want to say that literally right before the convention started, I did get a gift from a really, really nice artist who's also vending here. I'll put their handle here. But I am excited. I don't even know what it is. Are you kidding me? Nelson, this looks so good. Y'all, I cried this morning just because I got it, but... Yay. And I got stickers as well. She was so nice. This was, this is so good. Thank you so much for the gift. It means a lot to me. <laughs> good morning. It is the third day of WasabiCon. It is also the last day of WasabiCon. We got here about five minutes ago and we're just trying to set everything up. And I think we have like a little over an hour to kill. So we're actually, actually gonna walk around and check everything out. We didn't have a chance to do that yesterday, but I'm gonna try to do a little bit more filming today. And I know this one's gonna be kind of like a shorter vlog. I can already feel it. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? Gonna fix up the table. We did really, really well yesterday again. So this whole weekend was just absolutely lovely. It made such a difference being next to the doors. This was such a good spot. I, I thought it was gonna be bad. I don't know why, but I thought it was gonna be bad, but it, it's, it's been really good. So we're gonna fix the back of the booth a little bit from the, and the front of the booth a little bit and then show you guys around before it starts. This one too? Yeah. Okay. And it's gonna be 18. Will it be cash or card? Card? 
Of course, so it's gonna be 18 plus seven, so that's gonna be 25, is that okay? Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right, did you need your receipt? Uh, no, I'm good. You're all set? All right, and these three keychains will be 35, will it be cash or card? Card. All right, give me one second. You're all set. Thank you. Okay, for real update, we have been so busy. So, so busy. Literally the entire weekend. It's been probably one of the best, not the best con ever, but like a really good con for the year. So super happy about that. But I just want to show off what we, well, I got, but I got him for him as well. Little badges. I'm the artist. He's the helper. Oh my God, it's so cute. And then we also did some shopping too. But I want to update you guys. Hey, how are you? Hi. So it's 3.48. Um, convention closes at five and we'll probably do one more update before we end it here we're having a good time though funny enough I have not given an <laughs> an actual update on the booth itself this entire weekend so let's go around and check out the damage the pins have been so popular this isn't all of them I still have some more in the back but I decided not to refill just because it's almost the end of the day we only have like less than an hour until the actual con ends it looks like empty now just because I haven't refilled it. A lot of people have been getting my candy, so that's great. Tip has been wonderful. It's the standees, literally, I think I've only sold one Black Star and Tsubaki, but everything else has been sold in Maka, and I'm literally, I think I only have two left. Two and the display. Sticker books have been going great. Stickers have been going great. Keychains have been going great. L literally everything has been going great. So this entire weekend has been amazing. I always love Wasabi Con. It has a special place in my heart. So thank you guys so much for that. I'm not going to lie. I am pretty tired from this weekend but just because it's been so busy and so hectic, but in a really, really, really great way. I may sound tired in this vlog or at least like towards the very end of it, but I'm genuinely so grateful for everyone that has been watching the vlogs, buying my stuff, just supporting me, even coming by to the booth, you already know. So I genuinely, genuinely, I want to say thank you to everyone. Um, Wasabi Con is the convention that had me starting out with Artist Alley. So thank you again for another great year, the third year in a row where I did Artist Alley. And I really hope that I can come back next year. We'll see, but I really hope so. So thank you guys for supporting me like always. It means a lot to me. Hey everyone, we are now entering into the convention summary segment and you already know the drill. If this is your first time on my channel, normally at the end of these vlogs I talk about my thoughts and feelings about the cons I table at and if I would table at them again. I probably will keep this one short and sweet because WasabiCon this year was that great for me. Everyone who came up to my table was so wonderful, humble, and super positive. You all have made my third year at this con and my third year of running my business an absolute delight and I'm very grateful for you all. To be honest, I don't really have any negatives about my experience. I'm just really glad that I was not put in the back again because that limited my sales last year. Probably for 2024, I'll put a note in my application saying that I'd like to be near the entrances, entrances again. Um, that definitely um, is a good tip for you guys. So if you're able to, and if the application of an event has a place to write notes down, let them know that you'd like to be near an entrance or any section of the vendors hall that has a good amount of foot traffic. Normally entrances and corners slash uh, close to corners of the aisles are heavy with foot traffic, but it truly does depend on the layout of the convention. I'm pretty sure I've already mentioned this, but placement matters so much at cons, so try to get the best spot if you can. As for the money and profit, we made table back on the first day, which was about $245, give or take, with tax. Um, that was how much the table was. And gas was roughly about $30, and food was roughly about $50. Um, since I live in Jacksonville, I didn't need a hotel or Airbnb, so I didn't have to worry about that at all. And with cash and card together, I made about 
roughly about 1700 the entire weekend, and so I profited about 1375. For a local convention with a great turnout, I'm pretty satisfied with my numbers and I would absolutely attend WasabiCon again. Thank you all so much to those who came to the con and supported me at my table. These past few years of tabling and running my small business have been a wild but exciting ride and I don't regret it one bit. Thank you also to any of my new subscribers to the channel and I hope you stick around for more vlogs. For the rest of the year, I'll probably be tabling at smaller art markets, but I might squeeze in one more vlog until the year ends and I'm hoping to continue my studio vlogs towards the beginning of the new year too. I appreciate you for watching until the very end and I'll catch you guys in the next vlog.